video we will talk about using watercolor ground. The beauty of that material is that it gives you the ability to paint watercolor on almost any surface. I have here a piece of cardboard which is backside of a block of watercolor paper so I want to use that for my painting and even though in this video my main focus will be on black watercolor ground, watercolor is a transparent paint so it's not gonna look right on black so I will start with applying white watercolor ground to the area where my painting is actually going to be. I'm using a foam brush and I had this jar for a while so the ground thickened a little bit to spread it easier I'm going to use a little bit of water for my spray bottle so I'm trying to create a nice even coverage without any streaks or lumps I'm trying to smooth it out as much as possible I let the surface dry overnight and now it's ready for watercolor. Okay, let's do a quick sketch. I have a photo of this cute little parakeet, my friend's bird, and she always wanted to give him a companion. This didn't happen yet, but maybe I'll make it happen in my painting. So I'm going to add another parakeet right here. This demonstration is an additional demo for my class painting on non-paper surfaces. If you want to learn more about painting on watercolor canvas, on aqua board, using materials like watercolor grounds and a lot more, you can go to my website and purchase this class and learn all about it. It's full of useful information. And also if you have Skillshare membership, that class is available on Skillshare as well. My watercolor painting is ready and now I want to add black background to this parakeets. So I'm going to take a small brush. This is not watercolor brush. I use these brushes for acrylic painting because watercolor ground is acrylic based material. So I am going to carefully paint everything around this parakeets black. I'll let the black background dry and the last thing I need to do is correct the edges. I'm going to take some white gouache and mix it with various shades of watercolor or maybe even use straight white and paint better edges, soften the edges and also make them more precise around my parakeets. And here we come to the reason for using black watercolor ground as opposed to let's say black acrylic paint or black gouache. The first reason is that watercolor ground accepts water media and I can very easily do what I need to do that is correct the edges. My paint would not beat up or slide off like it would if I used acrylic paint for the background and another reason the background will not lift because if I let's say I used artist gouache I can lift it with my brush if I paint on top and another advantage I hope you can see it here on camera the surface that you get is matte it's kind of velvety texture so it just looks really pretty and it looks really good with watercolor which doesn't have any shine like acrylic paint so watercolor ground gives you a beautiful surface to work on. And please let me know in comments what you think about the results of this experiment. I'm always happy to receive some feedback from other artists. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one here on Tamarap Studios channel. Help other artists to see this video by liking or sharing it. To see future videos, subscribe and click the bell button to be notified when they're published. Thanks again and stay creative!